everyone, welcome back to another week of to read or not to read. That is the question. This weekend already somehow is July 4th. So I know a lot of you are probably attending some July 4th picnics. Well, since grilling season is also in full swing with all of this warm weather that we've been having, I thought this week I'd go over some books in our collection that highlight some picnic food, including grilling books, um, sides that you can make, pies, cakes. We've got it all here. This first book is William Sonoma Grill Master, The Ultimate Arsenal of Back to Basics Recipes for the Grill by Fred Thompson. And this book has a ton of different foods that you can make on the grill, hamburgers, salmon, pork chops, even veggie recipes. It has it all. So this weekend, if you're gonna do some grilling or maybe over the next couple of weeks, check out this book. Picnic, 125 recipes with 29 seasonal menus by D.D. Stovall. And this book has a ton of different seasonal ones that you can make, sides, different breads that you can make. So if you are doing some picnicking over the next couple of months this summer, pick up this book and I bet that you can find a recipe that meets your picnicking needs. The Peace, Love, and Potato Salad Cookbook, 24 Delicious Recipes by Zach Brown and Teresa Blackburn. Who knew that you could do potato salad 24 different ways? If you're interested in making a side dish to take along to a picnic that you're going to be attending or hosting, check out this book. For children who are interested in cooking, we have this cool backyard grilling Beyond the Basics for Kids Who Cook by Lisa Wagner book. Again, a lot of just the adult recipes just scale down for kids who enjoy cooking as well. Check this book out. And lastly, my personal favorite, first prize pies, shoe fly, candy apple, and other deliciously inventive pies for every week of the year and more by Allison Kay. And this book has one of my favorite strawberry shortcake recipes. If I remember correctly, this one is, um, yep, it is separated by months of the year. So it is in our June one, I believe, strawberry shortcake. It's amazing. But if you are looking for a sweet dish, have a sweet tooth. Um, I highly suggest that you check out this book for all of your pie or sweet needs. All right, guys, we'll see you next week on To Read or Not to Read. That is the question.